Hey kids, welcome to our second video on diversity. In our last video, we learned why classifying things is super important. It helps make things easier when we put them into groups. Today, we're going to do our first classification together. Let's classify everything around us based on whether it's living or non-living thing. But what exactly are living things and how they are different from non-living things? Before we answer that, let's explore it through a fun game. In this game, we have many things waiting for us to classify, but only 8 of them are living things. Can you find them and take pictures of them? Let's do it together. Here is one, two, three. Oops, the wall is not a living thing. Now, four, five, six. What about the seesaw and the swing? Nope, they are non living things, so no pictures of them. Here is seven. And finally, eight. Great job! We found eight different living things. So what do all living things have in common? What are their special characteristics that make them different from non-living things? Living things can grow, reproduce, and respond to changes. Let's break that down. Growth is something only living things can do. For living things to grow, they need air to breathe, water, and food. But no matter how much water you give non-living things, they will never grow. Reproduction is also something only living things can do. It simply means to multiply and make new living things. One last important feature is that living things respond to their surroundings. If you talk to things in your house, they won't respond. And if it's too hot or cold, non-living things won't react. Interesting, right? So next time, try to classify everything you see as living or non-living thing. Stay tuned for more fun science videos from Science Nuggets. See you soon!